Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I am going to be teaching you how to use Fusion 360. Whether you are a complete beginner or have some experience with 3D design, my goal is to help you master in Fusion 360 and take up your skills to the next level. I want to emphasize that this is my first video and the first tutorial channel on YouTube. So I appreciate your patience and support as I take up on this new venture. I am excited to share my knowledge with you and help you create amazing designs with Fusion 360. So without further ado, let's dive in and start learning. When you first open up Fusion 360, your workspace something looks like that. There will be regular update on software of Fusion 360, so some functions and user interface will be changed in previous version to current version. Let's start by giving the tour of the workspace where you create and manage your designs. There is an application bar at the top side. The first icon in the application bar is the data panel where you can view and manage your projects and the designs. The second icon is the file menu where you can create new designs, open the designs and the save the designs. There is an undo and redo option here. So all your files that you are currently working on showed over here. So each tab will display their file name and the version number. File name and the version number. On your left side you will see the data panel over here where you can see and manage your whole projects. Let's start by creating new projects. Let's hit new project. Let's give the name of the project. Let's say 3D printed robotic arm and hit enter. So our new project is created. So in this uh, space over here, you can view and manage and save all of your designs like say uh, and if you also organize all of your designs over here and you can also organize all your designs by creating the folders like if you want to save all your plastic parts under one folder then you can organize with the folder system like if i want to organize metal parts over in the second folder then metal parts will be in the second folder if you save any of the designs from over here then it will automatically redirect you to the window that is open on the left. So now the file will be saved uh, whichever project and whichever folder is open over here. So right now we are in the 3D robotic, 3D printed robotic arm project. So file will be saved under here. So let's say some arm file and we can also choose whether to uh, where to save the file. Like I want to save the file in the 3D printed robotic arm project and metal parts and save so file will be saved in the over here in the metal parts folder so here is a arm file so right now we didn't create any designs over here so there will be no data so let's if i if we close that arm file and if we need to open it again we just simply double click over here or we can do the right click and press open the design will be open the best thing about the Fusion 360 is that all of your design and the project files is saved on the cloud for your particular login email ID. Another best part of the Fusion 360 is that all of our design history files are saved on the cloud under this version history tab. Like I created this aluminum shield design on 7th of March. I modified that design on 21st of April. So if I want to modify something on my previous design from 7th of March. Then I simply open that version from over here. So let's uh, open this device and make another version. So the file is open and file is currently under the version 3, version from 21st of April. So let's modify something on that design. Let's uh, remove that circle. Okay. And let's save this design. And uh, you can also write the version description over here. So I can write the removed circle from this center and hit OK. So it will uh, whenever you can uh, save that file, it will automatically create the new version and this version will be shown over here. See? It's coming over here, the new version that we are created. In the top right hand section, there is a few icons. First icon is for the extension. 
you can manage and download extension from over here. Second icon is for the job status. So either you are working online or offline, it will be shown over here. You need to make sure that you are working online in the job status to save all of your designs on the cloud. Next one is notification center. Fourth one is help center. Last icon is the account settings. So if you go into the preferences, you will find the bunch of the settings. If you are the X SOLIDWORKS or the inventor user and you want to uh, copy the pan zoom and orbit shortcuts to the Fusion 360, then you can change it over here. So it will now take the pan zoom and orbit shortcuts from the SOLIDWORKS. You can change the default design units over here. So default design units, you can change into the inch or mm from over here. Let's dive into the main workspace of the Fusion 360. So there is a different workspace over here and for every different workspace, there is a different tools over here. For the design workspace, there is a solid modeling tools over here, surface modeling tools over here and sheet metal tools over here. If you go into the render workspace, you can create stunning photorealistic render from these workspaces. And there is a different tools for the rendering over here. If you go in the animation workspace, there is a timeline and animation tools over here. There are different tools for the solid modeling over here. If you hover your mouse on top of the feature, it will explain how the feature will work. You can also manage the regularly used feature on top of this bar. So if you use the form workspace regularly, then you can simply click on the three dots, click on pin to toolbar and the form workspace will be over here. So if the box command is not regularly used by you, then you can simply click over here and you can hide it from the top of the toolbar. This is the browser part where all your assemblies and part files are saved. So if you click uh, on this eye icon, it will hide and unhide your parts and if you also click over here then the selected parts will be shown as a dotted line over here so if you want to find the parts from the from over here like say i didn't know the name of this bowel part but i want to find it from over here you if you click over here on the bowel part it will show as a dotted line and you can select that bowel parts you can also hide and unhide the origin from over here. You can also select and set the default drawing units like from millimeter to inches or you can also set as default. This is the view cube which allows to view the design from the different angles. So if you click on the home button, it will set as a home position. And you can also view the design from different angles by clicking the shift and the middle mouse button. You can pan and rotate all your designs by clicking shift and middle mouse button from the different angles. Also you can do, do the scroll in and out for the zoom, zoom in and zoom out. So you can do the scroll in and out for the zoom in and zoom out. There is a view section at the bottom of the part. The first icon in the view center is orbit section. You can choose the mode of orbit from there. Second one is the look at command. If you want to see any objects from the top of the view, then you can select the look at command. Like I want to see that small dog foot mark from the top side, then I simply click over here and I click on the look at mark. And it will show me in the top view. Third one is the pen menu. So if I want to pen my design like this, so I can use that pen section. Fourth one is for zoom in and zoom out. So if I click my left click button and I, if I drag my mouse from top to bottom, it will automatically zoom in and zoom out. Fifth option is the zoom window. If I want to specifically zoom on a specific area, then we can use the zoom window. If I want to zoom that dog foot area, then I can simply draw a zoom window over here and it will be zoom out for me. There is a timeline or design history at the bottom side which will indicate the order of the design operations. So this is the basic overview of user interface of the Fusion 360. 
From next video, we will start getting created some basic shapes with sketch and modeling workspace.